Welcome back to North Dakota Today. We want to give you a live look from our Sky Cam. We've got some breaking news here on Valley News Live. There's been a cement truck rollover at the I-94, I-29 exchange. Exit uh, 63B, I believe, on the northbound lane. So you happen to be out and about, which you shouldn't be for another 30 minutes. You should just stay put and finish watching the show. But if you have to get out of the house, just be aware that you may see some backed up traffic along the way. All right, join us today. We've got Don Kinsler from the NDSU Extension Horticulturist for Cass County to get your green thumb ready for, he just said spring's right around the corner. So we'll see if that ends up being true, but it's great to have you back. Yeah, yeah thanks. Thanks very much. It's great to be here. So February seems a little bit early to get my it green is. thumb ready. It, it's early, but it's not too early to start thinking. Now, most of the seeds that we would start indoors, we'd start probably in March, you know, uh, like marigolds that we're going to look at, probably about the middle of March for seeding. Tomatoes are popular for starting indoors about the 1st of April. So it's too early to actually start most seeds, but not too early to start thinking and planning. Okay. Shall we get right into it? Let's do it. All right. Now, for starting seeds indoors, you can order different things online, different equipment online. But you know what? One of my favorite for starting, I start most of our own uh, seeds in our basement under lights using... Uh, donut trays. You know what donut <laughs> balls <that>. come. In, <laughs> what donut <laughs> balls come in. So that's what we're gonna start today. Um, a person should always punch holes in the bottom. Uh, this tray, such as this, that the donut uh, holes came in, makes just a perfect little greenhouse for starting seeds. But important to put the bottom drainage holes in. So that's what we're going to start our seeds in today. Our marigold seeds. Now. For starting uh, the seeds, uh, it's important to use a mix that is specially form formulated for starting seeds, such as this one says uh, for starting seeds. Now, when a person first opens the bag, the mix is very, very dry, extremely dry, just you know, almost powder dry, and that's really too uh, dry for starting seeds. So, uh, it's very important to the day before. I add some moisture to the to the bag, mix it around good, and then the, the next day it's uh, let's see if I can locate my hands. Yeah, yeah. The next day it's nice and moist and mellow, and that will accept water much better. If you seed into very dry mix, when you go to water it, the mix and seeds just kind of float around. So very important, moisten the mix first. Huh. Oh. So I've uh, added drainage holes to the bottom. Let's fill it up with our pre-moistened mix. I brought along a little tray so I didn't get too much dirt all over the clean ta <laughs> tablecloth. Now when filling the, and I'll lift this up in just a minute, when filling the seed tray up, uh, fill it, fill it up all the way to the top of the, all the way to the top, uh, and then maybe bounce it a little bit on the bottom. I'm gonna get rid of the excess out of the lid there. Okay, and then just brush it across so it's nice and even. You don't really need to pack it. Watering will do that. But fill the tray all the way up. Uh, watering will sink it down a little bit. So it's important to have that air flow across the top. Wow. Okay. Now, we are ready. Let's set this aside a bit. Uh, set that down so we can see. Now, we're ready to seed the marigold seed. So off the seed rack, I got some marigold seed, and about the middle of March uh, would be the best time. So I'm seeding these, just sprinkling over the surface by hand, and I'm spacing them out a little bit. I don't want to get them too thick, otherwise it just, uh, they come up, you know, thicker than hair on a dog's back. <laughs> so I am putting about eh, maybe half the seed back in, and I'll save the other, okay? How many of those will actually take? All of them, or? Uh, the germination on most seeds is, oh, probably 80 to 90%. Wow. There, once I've got them seeded such as that, uh, now I'm going to add seeding mix over the top. Again, the moistened seeding mix. And just barely covering the seeds. Just barely covering with a little bit of mix. Now, if the seeds are very tiny, such as the side of a poppy seed, you don't even need to cover them. Watering will move them down in. Let me pat just a little bit. And next, we're ready to water. Notice the NDSU watering can. Okay, water it. 
then you see that neat little cover that makes this a perfect little greenhouse uh, bottom heat is very important that can make or break seedling germination uh, heating mats are available at many of the garden centers uh, as you can see here it plugs in gives good bottom heat and that increases seed germination markedly all right great then um, next stage is see how quickly they came up uh, <laughs> let's take a, wow you're amazing Don. <laughs> let's take a quick look at transplanting i brought along some mix we are running out of time so Ooh. do you want to show us real quick or can we have you back soon well i can do it real quickly we lift out little seedlings just like that see the neat roots and in each little four pack we are going to with a pointed dowel gently firm them in and we've got transplants we are i'm actually wow. also giving a program this evening at the cass county annex as you can see on the screen at seven o'clock this evening we'll go through everything on how to put them under lights and all the different details great stuff man you're incredible thanks so much for being here we yeah thanks it. for inviting me this That's is great, great thank you all right stick around we got a lot more coming up right after this